the person telling me they come to me for peace. I don't come to you for peace. I come to you for dick respectfully. And that's it. <laughs> I only come to you for that because you don't ask me how I am mentally. I go through things too. So this person replied with, what you gotta come to me for peace for? You don't got a life outside a job and your son. Like you don't have no friends. What do you gotta come to me for peace for? You don't go through anything. Excuse me? Like, that shit fake hurt me because it's like, damn, you don't see me. Like, you don't see what I'm doing. You don't see me. Just because you don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life don't mean you got the right to judge me with what I'm doing with my life because you don't understand what I'm doing. Every day I'm working on myself, businesses, YouTube, I'm doing music. Fuck you mean I don't got a life? What the fuck is you talking about? I'm doing this, 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 and that. What the fuck are you doing? Because I don't have friends and I'm not outside partying and hanging out, you think I have no life? Doing a stupid YouTube video? Okay, when this stupid YouTube video sets me up for life, don't be on my dick. God would not put this burning, like, sensation, this burning passion, urge to be successful if it wasn't going to happen. You being creative, doing your own stuff, it's not going to work for you. I'm not going to listen to people because they're going to be on my dick when I am up. And I'm going to say it's too fucking late. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you new, welcome. If you been here, what's up y'all? We got 3K subs. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. The sub count is in the description below. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie, not gonna lie. This video is very anointed. Like, it's not for everybody. I'm not gonna lie. This video is not for everybody. This video might fly over some people's heads. This video is specifically for specific people. And by that I mean, if it's meant for you, you will see this video. If it's not meant for you yet, you will not see this video until it's time. Gangsta. So, this video is gonna be a little, uh, a little mix of a lot of different things because it's just so much information and it's just like, it's gonna be a lot of gems here, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of gems. Like I said, this video is anointed, anointed. So if you're watching this, you are blessed. So let's start with the title of the video, which honestly, I don't even know what title I put yet because I, this literally just came to me. Like this came to me after a conversation I had with somebody yesterday. <laughs> I was gonna do the video yesterday, but I, w I wasn't sure. But it's really in my heart to do this video. Like after that conversation, it really just like solidified everything I know. <laughs> it really just solidified the things I know and that I'm going on the right path, basically. I think the title of this video is going to have to do something with not having a lot of friends, being a loner. If you watch my other videos, you know that I said this before. I've always been the type of person that I never had a lot of friends and right now I don't have any friends. I'm going to start off with the conversation I had with somebody yesterday. The person telling me that they come to me for peace, right? That when they're around me, they feel peaceful, all their problems go away, and that's what they come to me for. And then I told this person, well, I know that. I know you come to me for peace, but that's not what I come to you for. Like, we were, we were having a disagreement where that conversation led to this. So I'm telling this person, like, okay, well, I don't come to you for peace because you don't, like, you don't ask me how I am. You don't ask me, like... How's your mental? Like, are you okay? Do you want to talk? Like, this person doesn't, like, stimulate my mental, get it? So it's like, I don't come to you for peace. I come to you for dick respectfully. And that's it. <laughs> this person was like, that's crazy because this, this, and that. And I'm trying to explain to this person that I only come to you for that because you don't ask me how I am mentally, you don't, like I go through things too. You're not the only one that goes through things. So this person replied with, what you gotta come to me for peace for? You don't got a life outside a job and your son. Like you don't have no friends. What do you gotta come to me for peace for? You don't go through anything. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, mom? Like that just opened my eyes to how people's mentality is just not there like that really opened my eyes to like damn like 
that shit fake hurt me because it's like damn you don't see me like you don't see what i'm doing you don't see me i'm telling this person like just because i don't have friends and i'm not outside partying and hanging out you think i have no life like what so that's why i really wanted to make this video because this person doesn't realize that you don't have to have friends and go out and always outside in the mix to have a life like i'm working on myself daily i'm growing into a better woman better mom better person daily i'm doing self-discipline youtube and this person doesn't know that i have to take time out my day i have to like literally make a schedule to do youtube to fit that into my life like for those who got a nine to five you know how it is like once you come home all you want to do is shower eat go to fucking bed but if you really want to like break out of that nine to five you got to come home and work on yourself and that takes real discipline because the body will fight you but the spirit is willing like literally i be coming home sometimes like yo i'm ready to i'm ready to do this 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 and that but as soon as i step foot in my house i am tired so you really got to fight with yourself. And I'm telling this person, fuck the outside world. I get you go through things outside because you have friends, you be outside, whatever. But the real battle is in here. The real battle is with yourself, with your mental. Because nobody can take you out your spot but you. That shit made me realize, like, okay, this person doesn't see me. This person doesn't realize. They're just not knowledgeable. Like ignorance. Ignorance is not a bad word. Ignorance is just you don't know. If anything, I would say I have more of a life than this person, than the person I was talking to. Just because you don't know what the fuck you're doing with your life, don't mean you got the right to judge me with what I'm doing with my life because you don't understand what I'm doing. I'm on the phone trying to explain to this person like, Every day I'm working on myself, I'm working on businesses, I'm working on YouTube, I'm doing music. Fuck you mean I don't got a life? What the fuck is you talking about? What you mean I don't have a life? I'm doing this, 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 and that. What the fuck are you doing? Everything I said flew over this person's head and all they was worried about was my circle. Well, you still don't go out with nobody. You don't really have a life. Like what? That is ignorance. And please stay away from people like that. That conversation really sparked up this like urge to make this video because I know I'm not the only one that does not have friends. Like what the fuck? And the thing is that it's not that I don't want friends or that I don't, I can't get friends. Um, I think two days ago or yesterday, an old friend actually just texted me wanting to rekindle. And I'm going to show you guys the text. Did I answer? No. Because I don't double back. I'm not doubling back on niggas, friends, nothing. And the thing is, those are old friends and we're not friends for a reason. There's no like animosity or, or grudge holding. I don't feel nothing. It's just, it's not gonna, nothing. It's, it's old news. I'm ready for new friends. I'm ready for the, you know what's crazy? I'm, I'm like patiently waiting for the right friends. The same mentality as me, the same drive, like we on the same page, we motivate each other, things like that. I'm waiting for my group of friends, for the right friends to be around me so that we can grow with each other. I don't want to chill with old friends and just sit down or go out. Like, niggas, I don't want to do that. I'm ready to really grind. Like, I, and I'm waiting for those type of friends and I'm going to be around those type of friends. It's going to happen. I'm going to be successful. It's going to happen one way or another. It's going to happen. You just have to believe that in yourself and you have to put the work in. Work on yourself every day. They, they're not going to understand what you're doing because they're not even doing what you want to do. This is you. This is them. <laughs> Parallel. Y'all would never meet. Parallel. Two different bro. Baby, matter of fact, this is you. This is them. Op this is you. This is them. Fuck is you talking about? Opposite ways. They are not there. They don't understand that you are trying to break generational curse. That you are trying... Nigga, YouTube can set you for life. But they think, oh, you want a stupid YouTube video? Okay, when this stupid YouTube video sets me up for life, don't be on my dick. That's all I'm gonna say. And I know I'm gonna make it one, one way or the other because God would not put this burning, like, 
sensation, this burning passion in me, this like urge to be successful if it wasn't going to happen. It's just the road getting there is going to be a little rocky because not everybody has that genuine mindset that you have like me not everybody is as genuine as me and i can feel that and i can see that you can see it with people's actions people's words their reaction when you tell them something successful with you if their life is not even successful you think they're gonna be happy that you did something good with your life no that'd be oh that's good for you that's great for you they don't give a fuck they don't care. I don't even want friends right now. I don't want friends right now. I'm focused. I will wait for those friends where I could go on a fucking yacht with. We could all buy each other fucking rounds. Like, we could all fuck. We all got our own whips. Got our own money. Like, those are the type of friends I want. Motivational bitches. Motivational niggas. I don't want these regular ass friends. I don't want them. If anybody ever comes to you on some shit like that, please remember what I said. They not there with you. You right here, they right here mentality-wise. Y'all gotta hear me. Y'all gotta hear me. Y'all gotta hear me. The person that said I have no life wakes up and does whatever they do. I wake up and work out. <laughs> like, that's two totally different mindsets right there. Working out. Y'all playing, playing with that working out shit. Y'all playing with that. I'm telling y'all. Please stay tunnel vision. Don't care about people's opinions because they're not on your level. They don't understand what you are trying to do and what you are going to accomplish. Please do not listen to them. And silence is the best. Don't speak on what you're about to do. Don't even tell niggas what you're about to do because they are not going to understand. Do what you're just do what you got to do. And it, they're going to see. They're going to see eventually. Everything is about timing. God's timing. Like, I, this, I'm not new to YouTube. I actually have a whole nother channel. It's a singing channel. And I think it's at 13K, 10K, I think. But I haven't posted in there because I don't do covers like that. But I am going to do covers again. But just not right now. But on that channel, I have story times as well. That's at 200K, 50K. I've touched certain numbers. And that was years ago. But it just wasn't the right time for me to elevate. Because maybe the people around me definitely my mentality oh my god my mentality this is a whole 360 <laughs> this is a whole 360 mentality i have right now and it's just because you got to do your research like learn from somebody that's doing what you want to do if i want to be a nail tech you think i'm gonna go to somebody that does hair for nail tech experience no go to a nail tech go to somebody that is doing what you want to do be around those people don't be around people that don't want to do nothing with their life that think oh my god you're corny or what the fuck is she doing is weird because it's uncomfortable for them feel me when people get uncomfortable they don't understand and you have to be uncomfortable as well if you comfortable you're not doing it right you gotta be a little uncomfortable you gotta be a little nervous like oh my god am i really gonna do this do it and i'm talking to the people that don't want to like stay in this stigma society because life is not fair. It's, it's, it's designed to not be fair. We live in America, where I live in America. You gotta pay to live. You have to work your ass off to live. And there's a small percentage of people that are like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna find my own way and I'm gonna do what I wanna do and I'm gonna be financially free. And I'm one of those people. And if you're one of those people, this is the video for you. Work on yourself every day. If not every day, every other day. But as long as you are still working on yourself little by little, everything will add up. You will get there. I promise you will get there. And I'm telling you guys, I just started being disciplined maybe two months now, three months now. Oh no, I think it's just two months. And look at like my progress, my mentality is just changing so much already. Start working now. Oh my God. It's so good for your mentality. Like, you think I give a fuck what a nigga's doing? No. You know why? Because I'm working out eating right and my ass is getting fat. You think I give a fuck what this nigga's doing? No, my ass is getting fatter every day. That nigga should be worried about what I'm doing. That's how you should be. Please don't put nobody as a priority. Put yourself as a priority. Everybody else last. Um, last. When I, when I can, after I'm done with myself, then I can get to you. That's how you need to be because if you put yourself last and start focusing on niggas, on like friends that are not 
good for you like just other stuff this is this is the energy you're giving and to them to th to that and this is the energy you're giving to yourself you first then everything else next right and a lot of shit is overrated these friends they be snitching on each other as soon as they're not friends or airing out each other's business as soon as they're not friends i feel like even with friends you shouldn't sell them all your business and the thing is when you by yourself that's how you really feel. If you're always around friends, always like taking drugs or just always around people, got, if you always have things distracting you from yourself, that's not good. You need to spend time with yourself. You need to write down what you want to do with your life, how to get there. Okay, you got to go now write down steps how to get to that goal. It's baby steps. Take baby steps. If you really want it, you will get there. And it's all about timing. Don't worry if you don't have no friends right now. Fuck that. Work on yourself. You'll get friends later. And you will meet the friends that are for you when at your level. Feel me? Shall I know? And when you start growing with yourself, please do not double back. When niggas start reaching out to you and stuff, it's probably because they see your progress, they miss the type of person you was, because why would you reach back out to me if I wasn't a good person? Like, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late for that. Time has passed. I'm not even the same person anymore. Like, it, that's the thing. Like, when niggas try to reach back out to you is because they still think you're the same person. Baby, you reach back out to me, you don't even know I'm a whole different person. I'm not even answering you. <laughs> the old me would have wrote a little paragraph. Okay, right? Let's say the, the friend that texted me. The old me would have wrote her a paragraph like, why I don't want to talk to her. No, I'm just not answering. It's too late. I'm not even the same Gabby anymore. Like The girl that says, hmm, ice cream, so yummy. Hmm, ice cream, so yummy. That girl. I know when I seen her, that, I'm like, what the fuck is she doing? That's what now. She got a whole Fashion Nova contract. She getting that bag because she's her soul. She didn't care what people was talking about. She's getting that bag. Not everybody else is doing the same thing she's doing. Not me though, because that's just not my vibe. But respect to her. She, she did her own lane. Mad people was looking at her like she was weird. Even me, I, I still look at it like, it's, just, it's not weird. It's just like, it's a little off, but whatever. Not judging, it's my opinion. I have a right to an opinion. But she, I respect her. She's doing her thing. Not everybody wouldn't jump on her boat. And now she got a whole fashion Nova contract. Because she didn't care what people was thinking. And I'm pretty sure she seen the comments, everybody talking about her, how weird she is, this, this, and that. Look at her now. And I'm pretty sure she's telling niggas, it's too late, I don't want you. Like, it's, it's a dub. You was laughing at me for doing that on live, this, that. Now look at me. Now look at you trying to do what I was doing. Like, come on. It's going to go around. What goes around comes around. Keep going. Like, just keep going. You never know when it's your time. So it's this meme where it's like, okay, this person's underground and they're trying to get out, right? So this person is like hitting like around him, like the cave, like trying to get out the cave. And you see how, you see how far he got through to, to getting out the cave, like get what i'm saying you see how far he got through getting out the cave but he's so tired of trying and he doesn't think he's gonna get out that he stops and you see in the meme he's so close to getting out like if he was just hitting like a few more times he's right there but he gives up and that meme is so powerful because it's like we be right there but we just we don't see that we're right there and we get tired we give up we listen to people telling us, oh, just get just get you a regular job. Like, doing music is not going to work for you. Doing hair is not going to work for you. Doing nails is not going to work for you. You being creative, doing your own stuff is not going to work for you. You need to get a 9 to 5. Do not listen to that. Do not listen to that. Be smart. Work on yourself every day. And you will get there. I promise you will get there. I'm going to get there. <laughs> I'm going to get there. Nobody's going to stop me. I'm not going to listen to people because they're going to be on my dick when I am up. They're going to be on my dick when I am up. And I'm going to say it's too fucking late. Remember? I had no life. Remember? They're going to be on my dick. But anyway, <laughs> I was going to write 
this down but i'm like no this gotta come from the heart i even prayed before making this video so the right message could come out i hope this gets through to one person like i said this message is not for everybody it's for people that are like right there like yeah 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 for me yeah yeah understanding what is what it's gonna take to get there this message is for people that need a little boost that maybe was like second guessing themselves don't second guess yourself you listen to your intuition you got this don't worry and yeah and if it's not for you now it will be for you later you will see this when it's for you okay make sure you listen to my single it's out it's called um blocked link in the bio I hope y'all have a great day and like comment and subscribe okay thank y'all for 3k again i really do appreciate y'all and more to come i have a lot coming i'm just not saying shit because like i told you i don't talk about it just do it see y'all gonna see okay but thank y'all bye y'all